Hey everyone and welcome back. Before we begin here today, please make sure that you like and subscribe because it really does help us out over here and it also helps us reach others who want to test their math skills with these types of test questions. So what we have going on here is that we have to determine the area shown in yellow for this square. Well, we're given a couple pieces of information here. We are told that ABCD is a square. So the outlining shape is a square with a side of two centimeters. So each side is two centimeters. And then we have two quarter circles that have points A and D as their centers. So we will have a quarter circle that is outlining like this. So there's one of my quarter circles in red. And then we have another quarter circle with a point of A as its center that goes down and outlines in blue supposed to be along the edge of that yellow shape, but you get the overall idea. Okay, so that is all the information we have. Now, there are, as with most of these skill videos or test question videos, there are multiple ways to solve these certain types of problems. The method that I'm gonna show is not necessarily the fastest, the slowest, the most complex, or the easiest. I'm just showing one method that you could use in order to solve this question. There may be faster ones out there, because I'm just showing you one of them. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to split this into three sections or three areas. So my first area is going to be my first quarter circle, which is going to be C, D to B, which was outlined in red. If I add that area with my second quarter circle, which is the A, B and the C. And then I subtract those two added together from the overall area of my square of A, B, C, and D. Well, what does that come out to be? Well, that comes out to be the area that I'm looking for from C to D. Because these two, the quarter circles will overlap here. And then if I subtract out the entire square, the overlapped area is the only thing that would be remaining which is what I'm looking for. So we have to determine the area for the quarter circles and the area for the square. Well, let me scroll down just a little bit here, get a little bit more room. Well, we know that this is a square. So what that means is that all sides are two centimeters. So that means that my radius for my quarter circles is going to be two centimeters for each one. Well, what's the area for a quarter circle? Well, the area for a quarter circle, which I'm just going to write as one quarter of a circle, is equal to pi r squared for a circle divided by 4. All righty. Well, the area for my square is just going to be my side squared. So my total area of the region I'm looking for will be my two quarters, which is r or pi r squared over 4 plus pi r squared over 4 for each of my quarter circles, and then subtracting off my square um, area, which just has the same radius as a side, so just be r squared. Well, we can plug in numbers here because r is 2 centimeters here. So let's go ahead and plug this in. So my total area would be 2 times the two quarter circles here, so it'd be pi times two centimeters squared. That's a squared symbol, if you didn't know. Pi times two centimeters squared over four. So that takes care of the two quarter circles added together, minus off my square area, which is just two centimeters squared. And if you want an exact answer, it is two pi minus four centimeters squared for the area that is shown in yellow. That would be the exact answer. And if you want an approximation answer, which will be close enough, so 2 pi minus 4 gives me 2.28 centimeters squared for my area shown in yellow. And that's how you would solve that problem. And as I stated earlier, it's not necessarily the fastest way, the easiest way, or the hardest way. It is just one method that you could utilize to solve this particular problem. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you want to see or if you want to test your abilities even further with other videos, please check those out on our channel. Also, if you haven't done so already, please make sure that you like this video, leave a positive comment below and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a fantastic day.